Thank you for taking the time, Mr. President. I'll always make time for you, Kimball. I know how busy you must be since your schedule's been cleared of most every appointment. I suppose you could say I'm looking for explanations. In one day, you fired your chairman of the Joint Chiefs and arrested a sitting governor. It's erratic, sir. And now I find out that parking lot H at the Pentagon was full this morning at 3 a.m. Parking lot H? It's where combat command parks. Two star generals and up. Is there a question you want to ask me? Are we going to war, Mr. President? I ask because we're not a dictatorship. And as the presumptive speaker of the House, I'm here to remind you of your obligation to consult with Congress before taking any military action. Helicopter seat, sir. Article 1, Section 8. I'm aware of the clause. And I will notify you as soon as it's appropriate. Thank you, Mr. President. It's reassuring to know that you're fully aware of your constitutional duties. And thank you for your continued vigilance.